Welcome to our lecture online. Another way in which we can display the data is called the hinge method. And so we end up with a lower and an upper hinge. And here's the way that looks. It's basically something that looks like this. And notice we put the median right in the middle where you have the lower hinge, you have quartile one. Where you have the upper hinge, you have quartile three. And you can see that the data is basically divided into four times a quarter of all the data, or four times 25% of all the data. You have the first 25%, the next 25%, the third 25%, and the last 25% of the data displayed like that. So very quickly, you can visualize and see where the median is, where the first and third quartile is, and so forth. But it's not a very commonly used method. So at least it's more academic more than anything else. Notice that what we call the depth of the median is where the median is found. It's basically you take the number of data points, which in this case is 21, add one to it, divide by two, and, and you end up with the position of the median. You can also find the depth of the hinge by taking the depth of the median, add one to that, divided by two, and you get the depth of the, the quartile or the hinge, as we would call it. And so it's another display. It does make sense because it gives you a quick view of where the data falls within the overall scheme of all the data. But again, I don't see that type of data, uh, data display very often. So it's probably a little, a little bit more academic than it is useful. And there it is, the hinge method of displaying the data.